Afternoon, everybody. I just have a real quick video for you today. I did have an amazing video that was 20 minutes long about the movie The Breakfast Club. However, Universal Studios decided they didn't like me doing that video, so fair play to them. But instead, let's talk about the movie Return to Oz. If you were a kid in the 1980s and saw that there was a sequel to The Wizard of Oz, you would be ready for some fun. I mean, colorful munchkins, yellow brick road, Dorothy, what's not to love? However, what you got instead was Feruza Balk, in a gothic-style, terrifying, nightmare-fueled experience for children. With that, here are my five reasons why this movie was terrifying. First, let's talk about the head-turning horror. With that, get ready for Princess Mombi, the queen of shape-shifting. She goes from being headless to wearing different heads. So, yep, that's right. So far, this kid's movie has heads in a cabinet. <laughs> What do you think? I think you're very beautiful. I should hope so. Imagine sneaking into a room where dozens of heads are silently watching you, waiting for the perfect moment to wake up and scream. Trust me, sleepovers after this movie were not the same. Number 2. Rock and Roll Minions Prepare to meet the terrifying minions of the Gnome King. Evil graffiti coming to life and slithering out of walls, these dudes were creepy AF. Imagine walking down a cave or a hallway and just arms reaching out to grab you. As you run in terror, they reach out further and further and further, and if you're lucky, you might get away. They guarantee you as a child in the 80s you were looking back and forth as you walked down the hallways in your house. Thanks, Disney. <laughs> These dudes were known as the Wheelers. Their communication style, neck jerks, nightmare laughs, and fun rhymes. They're like your drunk uncle on Christmas night after everyone else has eaten and they just roll around mumbling gibberish. <laughs> Come here, chicken! <laughs> and as if the screaming heads weren't enough, Let's add a headless body chasing Dorothy. Meanwhile, all the other screaming heads decide to join a band and join in the chorus. It's a scene straight out of your weirdest and wildest nightmares. Next, we have electrifying beginnings. Early on in the movie, Dorothy comes back from her magical Oz adventure, expecting a warm welcome from Auntie M and all the other gang. But instead, she gets electroshock therapy. I'm not kidding, that's how this movie starts for kids, is by showing the star of the movie, who is also a child, an electroshock therapy. So if you didn't know what the movie was in for, this definitely started it off on what you could expect. Fortunately, the machine malfunctions, however, it was still a terrifying moment in this kid's movie. Finally, let's talk about a desert, the Deadly Desert Dangers. Now imagine a desert that's not only deadly, but makes you turn into sand upon touch. It's like waking up on day three of a musical festival, but instead of fun, you get disintegrated. Thanos may have had the snap, but this was the first one that turns you into literal dust. And that's just my top five reasons, plus an extra one, why this movie scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. And why, to this day, it's remembered as one of the best and most horrifying kids movie you will ever come upon. Did it haunt your dreams too, or do you know another movie that was equally as frightening as a child? If so, let me know in the comments. And don't forget, give us a like and subscribe, or the Wicked Witch of the West will be back in Surrender Dorothy. Until next time, stay brave and keep the lights on.